Hey guys, my name is That Quiet Kid, and today we are going to do day 18 of Advent of Cyber 2021, which is playing with containers premise. Grinch Enterprises has been gloating about their attack on an underground forum. You know they uh, they were specifically targeting organizations in a campaign they have themed Advent of Cyber. Which, what a frustrating coincidence! Tracing the user back over time will also include a reference to using AWS Elastic Container Registry to store container images that use as infrastructure in their attacks. They, uh, let's see if you can find out more about the attack tooling Grinch Enterprise is using. So getting started, we have Docker API, a local communication interface on a configured Linux machine with standard commands used to communicate with a Docker daemon. I, not sure about docker daemon but i know daemon is a process that is running on linux in the background and then we have docker daemon a process that runs on your machine just as i told earlier to interact with container components such as images data volumes and other container artifacts docker container image format ultimately a dot tar file for version or the docker image format was not strictly compliant with the oci image specification for our purposes this won't change how we interact with container images in this excel but it does slightly change the format and contents of the container image so today's learning objective is aws elastic container registry ecr public gallery so we can run uh, docker images to see uh, the images that we have our, on our machine but i don't have any docker images on the our machine okay i have which is this public.ecr.aws how 1j 9 u3 grinch uh, dash AOC which is the one which I have uh, pulled from this uh, trahackme one I'll show you this Grinch Enterprises attack you can retrieve the potential Grinch Enterprises image by running this command this is the command that I have run to pull this you can also pull this and after pulling it that is downloading it into your machine you can run this docker run uh, command to run it and it will run it okay it was latest yes we see a shell now which is represented by the dollar sign we can run ls uh, ls dash la to it is ls ls sp uh, dash la to see we have dot bash logout we have bash rc and dot profile so let's moving on we have no regular files yes we don't have any regular file now we can see the environment configurations by running the command print in one in vm and we see host name is this we see home is home slash new user term is xterm path is user local sbn and api key okay we see a api key so let's move on uh, we have stumbled up on our API key, which I'm guessing Grinch Enterprises didn't intend to leave behind. Okay, so for bonus challenge, we have to create a directory, make directory AOC. Okay, okay, I have to exit out of it here first. So let's exit out of it now. Make a directory which is AOC CD into AOC. And what do we have to do? We have to save the container image. So, what we have is you can see an example of a docker file here in this case of Grinch enterprises we don't have the original docker file but with the container image we have something just as good let's start by creating a new directory and saving the downloaded image as a dot tar file so let's save the container okay we have saved it and after that we can further inspect the image by unpacking the compressed file it is a tar file so let's use tar uh, dash xf to unzip it and it is taking a bit of time so let's move on to answering some questions which is what command will list container images stored in your local container registry it, it was docker images okay what command will allow you to save a docker image as a tar file it is i guess docker save which we used earlier this is the command docker save and let's see we have this 
place this let's unzip the star file and what is the name of the file including the file extension for the configuration repository tracks layer hash file stored in the container image and the last one is what is the token value found for the bonus challenge so we are actually looking for looking at the bonus challenge right now and let's go back what we have yes we saved it unzipped it and extracted actually extracted the files and now we have to install jq let's install it by using this apt install jq so let's install it okay we have already installed it let's move on now print the contents of manifest.json to the terminal using jq to pretty print we can run this command but before that let's see these files represent the various container image layers with the exception uh, of manifest.json file uh, manifest.json file uh, this file represents the manifest of container image layers that compose the final container image we were just inside we were just inside let's take a look at the image using a tool called jq pretty print to uh, the output for easier readability so let's go here and cat out this manifest.json with pretty print okay this is the file let's see we have config we have repo tags and we have some layers so I guess we had a question about uh, configuration repository tags we have some repo tag and we have layer hash value stored in the configuration and we have this config here and layers as well so this manifest.json is the one dot json which is javascript object notation i guess this is a format like braces before and after like you can see here this one and this one this is the json format and in between you can see we are using uh, quotation marks this is the json format what is the token value found for the bonus channel so let's move back a bit more and what do we see okay we can okay so yes we were at manifest.json now the first piece of information in the file is config which represents the underlying configuration and commands used to build the container image this is a json file it is also the this configuration file is also located in the root of the unpacked container file and container image directory we can inspect it by using this cat command let's cat let's ls first of all let's cat out this f81 with uh, jq i guess jq was the pretty print and we see see this stuff does it look similar yes it does and what do we have here the first section of the manifest configuration file walks through the final image configuration as intended to run on a container host system however the next step section is of particular interest to an attacker here's how the container image was built you can see each section was broken up by curly braces and some of the sections have an extra line indicating empty layer equals to true so colon true okay yes we see let's move on what do we have here so it is telling us to cd into a directory unzip the file inside and inside a file we will find a this config.hcl file and after that we will be using grep command to grep out token and that will answer our question what is the token value found for the bonus challenge so let's see let's cd into the first one what do we see so let's i guess let let me copy the command to unzip it it was something with tar i i'm not sure it's tar xvf layer this layer dot tar so let's use this okay we have unzipped it but do we see we don't see that file we're looking for which is this config.hcl and yes this root folder we will see so let's cd into the other one okay cat out so let's run the same command again okay it is quite large let's see what we have here no, we don't have anything of important let's go back let's cat cd into this okay let's cat out this yes we are in the correct folder let's cat out this root slash 
inworm console slash config dot hcl and grab out token i guess it should work and we have our token value and that completes our day 18 of advent of cyber 2021 and if you want to learn more about or more about the docker containers or more you want to get a bit deep into this topic you should watch uh, john hammond's video on this it is written right here check out john hammond's walkthrough video for day 18 he will explain it in a much better way if you want so that completes our day 18 and thank you for watching